Hello, welcome again to LearnSigns.com. Are you still practicing your finger spelling? I hope so. This lesson, we're going to talk about questions. Questions. How to ask questions. First is ask. Ask. If you want to ask another person something, and this is more to request, ask. It's also the word pray, pray, that's natural, pray, ask another person. But if you want to say, I want to ask you a question, you take and you draw a small question mark with your finger, question mark, and then you put the dot underneath it. Or if you're left-handed, question. I want to ask you a question, I have a question, or sometimes you'll just see it wiggle the finger like that ask who who some of these words have two different ways to do it let me show you both of them who is you just take your thumb and your index finger and you're going to bring your your index finger towards your thumb who and you you show a question with your face who or the other way is to draw a circle around your mouth who who you'll see both of those used what what you're just going to take your index finger and slice down your hand. What? We talked about this when we said, what's your name? What's your name? What? Why? Why? Take your, your mitten hand and you're going to touch your forehead and then you're going to come out to the why. Why? Why? This is a little different than why, and it means what for. This is the word for for, for, F-O-R. And if you do it a couple of times, it's what for, for what purpose. In English, we use the word why to mean uh, lots of different things, what the purpose of something is, uh, the reasoning for it. There's different, different uh, usage of the word why, but in sign language there's a distinction here. This is what for? What what is the purpose? Why? What for? What for? And then you have why is your your mitten hand and it comes out to the why and this is what for or it can mean why as well. For what purpose? When? Again this is another one that has a couple of different signs for it. When? You take your index finger and you put your other index finger on it and you draw a circle around. There's a couple different ways to do that circle, but this is the way I like to think about it. You have a clock face here and you're going to point on the clock. When? When? Or another way is when? When? Now there's a bit of a distinction between these two and we'll get into that when we talk about grammar, but this is also when. When? and when. Where? Where? You take your index finger and you're just going to shake it. Where? Where? How? How? This You take the backs of your bent B hands, you put your fingertips together, and you're going to roll it back towards yourself and then out. How? Now this is the question word how. Uh, if you want to say how much, as in how much I love you, then you would do it, you do it with your open hand. But this can also mean the question, how much? How much do you want? How much? And the distinction is on your face. You can ask the question using the same sign, how much I love you, you can make the statement, or you can question, how much do you want? How much? The question is on the face. And then how many? How many? How many? You take your, your fists or your S's and you're going to start down here low and you're going to push them up and open your fingers. How many? How many? How many? Which? Which? Take your, your A's or your, your thumbs up hands 
and you're going to go back and forth. Which? Try to make a decision. Which one? Which? We'll see this movement with several other signs that talk about trying to make a decision. And this one is which with your A hands or your thumbs up hands. Which? Now if we ask the question why, the answer is because. Because. Take your G or just your index finger and you're going to put it right there on your forehead and you're going to come out to an S. Because. Because I'm the mama and I said so. Because. If you ask a question, then you get a response, an answer. This is your two index fingers like the number one. One's going to be right at your mouth and the other one's going to be further forward and you're going to push it out. Answer. Answer or respond. Answer or respond. All right, ask or pray, and if this is ask a question, who or who, what, what, why, why, what for, for what purpose, when or when, where, where, how, how much, or you can ask the question, how much, how much, how many, how many do you want, which, which, because, because, and answer, answer. Now, you can also ask many questions just by opening your palms, palms up, opening your hands, and then giving a shoulder shrug with with the question on your face kind of pull in your your eyebrows and you're going to say what what or if a person says we're going to meet over at the mall and you didn't understand it you say where where just give that slight shoulder shrug and with your your hands open and your palms facing up you you can ask all the different questions how why? What for? Okay, so your questions can be done really with just that one sign. Now, context would have to tell you which one you're talking about, but you can, you can ask many questions with that. However, there are specific question signs, and that's what, that's what we've learned there. All right, this is LearnSigns.com, lesson number six, slash six. So it's LearnSigns.com slash six. If you'll go there, I'll have the list of the vocabulary words for you so you can see what words we've covered in this lesson. Keep practicing your, your vocab. Also, practice that finger spelling. The finger spelling is very important. You need to get better and better at it, being able to read finger spelling. Thank you for watching. Tell, tell your friends about LearnSigns.com.